This is possibly not a surprise for any of you. I do apologize about the video quality of my screen in the lower right corner there. But what you're looking at there is a... Uh, it's, it's a tablet I have. And it's shown me the dashboard of my truck. That is something that is pretty useful, um, I think. And it might be something that you're interested in getting as well. Um, so I'm going to show you how to set up the telemetry server and how you connect your secondary PC or iPad or iPhone or Android tablet or Android phone or just about any device with a browser in it to your main PC and the game. Let's do this! And here's the web page, and as you can see, it's an ocean of user friendliness. I'm pretty sure no one has any problems finding their way around on this page. Uh, <laughs> you know, GitHub, um, there's a lot of really, really cool projects there, but the user friendliness, they never thought about bringing any of that. But anyway, click on releases and then on the zip icon and there you go you start downloading your telemetry server that's it now get the hell out of this site <laughs> once you've downloaded the telemetry uh, zip file you extract it and i have chosen to move it to the my documents folder so if you double click it, you'll find three folders and some files. Never mind any of them except the server um, folder. Double click it. And here you have ets2telemetry.exe. Double click. And it will tell you that obviously this simulator is not running. That is okay. What is important here is the server address the URL for the HTML, HTML5 app and well don't mind that one so to verify that the server is actually running just just click that link I'll do it again just click this link on your PC and here you go the server is working and you are able to select whatever skin you want to use and I'll show you in a bit but you will also be able to select whatever skins you want to create yourself or add from from the internet there are a ton of different skins available for this this also means that you can use any client you do not have to use this PC of course you can use any other client that is on your local network in the web browser just enter the address 192.168.1.198 in my case that is uh, go along to 5555 and you'll end up on the very same page however if you have a local firewall or the PC you are trying to connect isn't on the same uh, local network as your PC is, then obviously you will have problems. It won't work. Uh, if you have a local firewall on your client, you may have to disable it or make changes to it to be able to reach your PC. So to be able to use the telemetry server through your PC, if you have the Windows Defender Firewall open, is to go to the Windows Defender. You can just search for it in the control panel and you'll find it. Allow another app or function through the Windows Defender Firewall press change uh, settings if required allow another app 
search for the application. I know that it was in my documents. Here it is, the ETS telemetry server. Double click it. Network types, you can select private, which I recommend. Do not use off um, public networks. Uh, at least that's not required or recommended. Anyway, press OK and then press the add button and OK and your firewall exception has been added. Now if you want to make your own skin for the telemetry server there is on the GitHub site a tutorial on how to do that. Um, you may download this to your PC but it will tell you just about everything you need to know about how to create your skins and what the different files you need to use, uh, how they work and what information you need to add etc. But you can of course also search the internet for it and I've just did a search here on ETS2 telemetry skin and as you can see there's a lot of information about skins popping up. If you look at just images, you can have just about anything you want here. Uh, there's a ton of skins available on the internet to download. And if you noticed, there are a few of these that shows the route advisor. Um, yeah, you can do that, uh, but I'm not going to recommend it because it only works uh, for the uh, base map and hopefully all the DLCs. I'm not even sure it works for all the DLCs. There is also a plugin for pro mods that gives you the maps uh, of uh, pro mods, uh, but you won't be able to see the actual road. You will only be able to see where your uh, truck is. So it's it sounded great, I downloaded it and tried uh, some of these skins, um, but it has no practical usage. So something like this is, is what I would recommend you to, to use instead. Of course, try it off out, feel free to do whatever you want with it. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of skins. Once you found a skin you might like you download it of course and then you extract it like I've done here now if we go in here we have a readme file who cares and then we have a folder there we go so here it is so back up one step right click copy go to your telemetry server master uh, files then click on server HTML skins and just paste it in there and there we go so that's the scanner GRT if we then start the telemetry server again I'm just gonna look at it and see if it works it should be here somewhere and um, these are generic ones it should be down at the bottom there it is so this is what I'm going to use. And so finally, what I do when I use the telemetry server, because I'm not always using it, I gotta admit that. Um, I just click the telemetry server link, um, which I have added to my taskbar. Uh, you can add it to your desktop or you can go to uh, your file explorer, your telemetry server, uh, server, and then double click the ETS2 telemetry file. But I right clicked it and added it, added it to the taskbar. And once it's running, you then just start your game as usual. And at the same time, you can fire this one up on your uh, secondary device, if that's an iPad, your Safari client on your iPad, or 
or really just about whatever any web browser you have available. Uh, once you've done that, uh, you can, or while you do that, you can select your profile, start up your game, and and here it is again now on my secondary device. I'm putting up a link to this skin uh, in the video description as well as a link obviously to the telemetry server itself. If you have problems with getting this to work on a secondary device it's probably because you have some kind of an issue with your firewall or your local network settings. I'm not going to be able to help you with that. Um, there, Google it, that's all I can say about it. But hopefully, happy trucking. See you later, guys. Bye bye.